but to, we're gonna go into this match now. They're starting on town and city. And uh, start uh, using that phantom. Oh, good parry there, but holding that shield. Oh, trying to use the laser, but not nice nair to the up tilt and up air. Oh, getting the nair and another upper. My goodness, Ape Man is on a roll right now, keeping his momentum. Nice use of the gyro. Using his projectile as well. Oh, was well, gonna use the robot arms there, but that was also a very good spot dodge, avoiding that grab. Oh, but that neutral special is really good for uh, Zelda. Using that uh, recovery, get back. Oh, but getting hit by the up air. And looks like you can see Ape Man is just using his uh, fares to keep Van off stage. Charge. Oh, getting hit by the laser. Oh, and that uh, side special came out. Getting hit again. Yeah. Ape Man is pressuring Van a lot. As, like, Van said. One thing you want to do is you want to pressure Zelda because uh, her moves aren't like the fastest. So like, oh, nice uh, spike right there though. But yeah, I mean, as I can see, Ape Man is being very aggressive right now. Now because he's backing off a little bit so he could charge up his uh, gyro, but he, he, he noticed that he didn't have it. That's just the just to keep Ben away. Back air, up tilt to the jab. Ooh, was just uh, Ven using the DI to go over that uh, gyro. Oh, up double up tilt to the nair with a multi hit. Ooh, almost getting hit by that phantom too. Yeah, phantoms are one of Zelda's greatest tools. Oh, nice use of the uh, up special to finish off Ape Man's second stock. But yeah, phantom is a good tool for Zelda because there's like six different phases and stuff, and each does its like own thing. Oh, getting the snipe! My goodness, Ape Man. He's he's you can see he's putting his all into this uh, fight. Like he's, he's definitely not gonna go down, and he, you can tell that he wants to get to that grand finals and see and uh, up and greaten his chances to be the uh the champion of today's msmo yeah i think for Aven man like he knows he has to be aggressive the more the more passive he is in this matchup the, the less it'll go well for him just because zelda's tools are just about as good as rob's in terms of like the distance game the camping oh wow speak of the camping like the way that Ven could just control the ledge with Knight because of the sword swing from Knight and then the distance that Ven can always operate with being center stage is so good. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Ape Man has to be aggressive. He can't afford to be too passive. Because then he'll run into a situation like that and then we'll be able to get the W over him. And that's what we're seeing here. <laughs> Ven with the first point on the board. And I think being aggressive against Zelda is really strong. If your character can just outframe, outpace Zelda... In any capacity, do so, because the second that Zelda gets a chance, trust me, she will slip through your fingers, and you'll have to worry about Knight for more seconds of your life. Thank you for that information, Vance. <laughs> but You're welcome. <laughs> We are going to see what these two characters, I mean, not characters, <laughs> players, are going to do for the second match. Uh, looks like we're staying same stage and everything, same characters. I did not see one player leave the uh, the ring. So, yeah. By the way, if you guys are still wondering, like, if it's worth going to offline's I definitely recommend it if you want to get into the competitive scene or at least try to be good at the game like because online isn't going to be a thing for well it's not going to be big as it used yes, to be guys, for they too will, much longer they will shut see the thing is Nintendo's going to shut down the online servers you want to be careful no I'm kidding guys they're not going to do that no I, I think what Mighty Man is trying to say here is that the offline competitive space is much stronger than it is on Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi is still operable, obviously here at 2GG we still want to provide a sort of online offering, like MSM Online, but just at a different date. Or maybe it's the same date, we don't really know. We have offered offline and online tournaments before, um, especially online tournaments. If you guys remember Battle Network Thursdays, that was a thing and that worked out pretty solidly for a little while. 
We had a lot of uh, representatives from out of the country uh, coming up to show. This is actually the first time we saw Omar from the Dominican Republic definitely show up as well. So we'll see. Uh, but definitely, if you want to, if you want any place to start competitively, offline is your best bet. Just because you know you don't want to worry about lag and latency and messing up a combo, but also um, offline is you know being able to practice with another person, ask questions, but also you know probably getting a smash coach and even then looking at your vods or some clips that you've gotten before. And those are all really good ways to try to get into the game competitively for Ben. And even then, being on Wi-Fi is a tale as old as time because these players were definitely really at it when online existed back in the Super Smash Brothers brawl for the Wii, uh, you know, was a game. So definitely these two players not only have veteran status under their belt, but they also have Wi-Fi veteran status under the belt, which is very rare. Yeah, one last thing I want to mention for offline is uh, one of the biggest changes is the environment. Like in offline, there's a lot of other people. In online, it might just be you or maybe you and some friends that are doing it together or in a call so yeah just a perspective on the environments but let's get uh back into the match and uh oh using that up air though charging up the phantom good shield going right next to the phantom oh and reflecting the gyro using robo arms getting vent to 109 Charging up the gyro once again. Oh, not uh, angling that uh, neutral B exactly. A nice down smash right there to catch Ven, but good DI coming out. Oh, good DI and... indeed. Oh, they traded, but that spike was uh, still gonna kill Ven right there. And up throw. And yeah, right now AP Man is doing really well. Yeah, uh, honestly, having a lead against Zilda can be really strong. Ape Man has to watch some of the recoveries just because you want to be careful on the timing for Ape Man. You don't want to roll too early, get up too early, worry about night. Like I said, Ven is essentially able to operate at the center stage. <laughs> Even though Ven doesn't go for that second hit of Fowler's win, it's still good because he still gets Ape Man off of him, like a, like a really quick out of, out of shield option there. So that still works out. But like I said, for Ape Man, you have to be careful when you see Zelda at center stage because that gives her enough time to have Knight, but also enough time to get around here. Good dash dance from Ape Man just because he's able to avoid a Ven in the middle of those getups. And you can tell he's kind of preemptively looking for a whiff punish on Ven by being able to use his spacing and his dash dancing in the neutral. But Ven will strike back because Fowler's win also has a hitbox at the beginning and the end. And Ape Man will see Ven at the end with this up smash. Finally getting a point on the board. Uh, looks like we're going to see a 1-1 situation. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to head on to game three pretty soon. But, yeah, I feel like Ape it Man, uh, he was on the right track for game one to be aggressive against Ben because Phantom is a big problem against a lot of characters and players themselves because... Phantom is able to cover so much, and it's like it, ha it can go pretty far. Also, the sword has good knockback, good damage, and its range, and just it's I guess it's a its area that it does its damage is also pretty big too. So you do have to be aware of Phantom uh, at at all times, and if. You, it, I would not recommend to interrupt it because at any time Zelda could just let go and uh, if the Phantom has the sword and you're, you're kind of screwed at that point. Three, two, one, yeah, go! and you have to be really difficult <laughs> in those situations. Uh, so not really difficult. Those are really difficult situations altogether here. Uh, for Ape Man, he won't be in a difficult situation. He'll be in a Game 3 situation. And he puts Ven in quite a difficult one here. So close to that forward air because he knows he can still go for Robo Arms afterwards. But unfortunately, Ven made the mistake of retouching the ledge. And unfortunately, you lose invincibility here. And Ape Man will get that down air. Yeah, I mean, invincibility is a big thing on ledge. Like, it's... I feel like without invincibility on ledge, if they never had that, then dang, it would be way hard to get on stage. Like, you would have to react, like, the second you grab on stage at that point. And then, really, it feels like recovering low is, like, not the best choice, also. 
but yeah. Oh, using the uppy uh, to one thing that I don't really like about Zelda is the uh, up special that can, it can kill you. It's kind of annoying, but at the same time, good use of the up smash right there. But at the same time, dash uh, going back and forth really fast. I don't really see that. I, I'm not able to do that online because lag purposes, but. Uh, both players getting back to stage. Oh, and using the neutral B right there. Ape Man getting hit by the Phantom, like I said. Very big tool of Zelda. Uh, if you charge it to stage 5, uh, like that that's the stage 5 that was just thrown out. Uh, you see how the sword goes downwards. It can hit people that are on ledge that don't have invincibility. But also, if you have a jump get up, normal get up, then, uh, or attack get up. I feel like against stage six phantom, your best bet is roll get up or attack get up. Roll get up will most likely lead you into a trap, but attack get up will, uh, you have to time it perfectly, but you can like, uh, hit your, your attack with the phantom and just hope that you got the timing correct and you don't get hit at all. Yeah. You will have a small bit of lag, but it's worth it than having to roll and end up in a trap. And using the down tilt and forcing Ven into a tech situation, but uh, using the down tilt twice and a down smash coming out. Wow. As you can see, Ape Man is a. Uh, I can see him using. Uh, I mean, being a lot more aggressive. I saw him going off stage a lot more, which is really good. Yeah. One thing. Being, that being, being aggressive there is just. Like I said, the more aggressive you can be against Zelda, the better. Um, if she pulls out Knight and you're able to get a cross up, or even just any particular situation where you can hit Zelda in that situation, you'll also get rid of Knight. But also, Ape Man knowing that Down Tilt does have not like kind of like how Donkey Kong's Down Tilt can work like a trip, it sets into tech situations. And when you put an opponent into tech situations at the ledge, man, it makes it so difficult for them. I think Ape Man has always been really strong altogether, just being able to pull those out. Especially with down tilt. It's a good boxing tool, a good spacing tool, a good tool to cover a lot of options. That's one thing that gets, scares me about Rob the most, is he has arguably the best down tilt in the game. Uh, for Ven, though, he's in a bit of a little bit of a toss up here because he has to think about stage counter picks, but maybe even a character swap. We did see how good his corn was, but you know what? Sometimes you want to have your best foot forward. And I know Ven can definitely pull this out with Zelda because he's been able to do so before. Let's see. Uh... If Ven tries to do anything different this time, uh, possibly change character, like you said. Or, I would actually hope that if he goes Zelda again, then maybe do some, uh, make, shake it up a little bit and change his, uh, the way that he plays. I mean, I can see that he's doing mix-ups every now and then, but I feel like he's got to go for the mix-ups that uh, Ape Man wouldn't expect. And that would help. That would help Ven a lot, and catching Ape Man off guard, and being able to like punish him at that point for say, expecting him to do one thing, but then doing the other. And that's Smash is a mind game, so if you can do mix-ups, then it'll either it, it's kind of a chance, but it'll either greatly help you or hinder you. So you kind of want to take a gamble sometimes, but you most hopefully most of the time it's worth it. Yeah. If the gamble has a higher percent rate for you, then it might as well go the rest, especially if you can spare that. No, not like this. Oh Why? no, that down oh, air is so rough. Yeah, I mean the hit stun and knockback is too much. Like Rob's, yeah, Rob's still okay. It's just ridiculous. Like Rob, Rob is the character that scares me the most on Wi-Fi. But also, like, you have to be aggressive. The problem is, like, even though Ven can be aggressive with Zelda, Zelda is not an aggressive character. <laughs> That's the hard part. She doesn't have the frame data or tools to be that aggressive on a character like Rob. So she has to still play and act within her own limits as a character design. 
Uh, Ven able to hold Sinister Nature is really good. Even if he's not able to get Ape Man, he still holds on to it. And pushing Ape Man back, that is going to be the up air. Ven with great DI still able to survive. You see that down in here. Just yet again to cover Ven for that low recovery approach here. But that Robo Arms will catch out the roll as well. Or the get up. That's the thing about Ape Man too. He's so good at spacing the Robo Arms. And if he doesn't space them, just down tilt as we saw earlier. And him using it earlier is still good to cover those options from ledge as well. All right, charging up that down B and... Oh, uh, actually getting hit by that um, up special and taking out Ape Man's first stock right there, but Ven is sitting at a very dangerous percent. Oh, good use of the neutral special to uh, protect himself. Charging up Phantom and timing it at the perfect time. Oh, but he's going to get punished really hard here and uh, getting up thrown and killed. Yeah. Okay, good empty hop here. And then he fakes up the forward here. He's able to, able to get the down tilt as well. Just because at that situation, Ven is already in the, in the defensive stance. So Ape Man is able to get that grab. Ape Man with a great use of that air dodge. Just a regular one here to avoid any potential extra end leg from directional air dodge. Forward air. And I still like the play for directional air dodge. But unfortunately, Rob's hurt box is so huge and tall. Zelda's up smash will be able to connect. At that robot's head. And that down air gets the two frame and a bit man with the three one over Ven. Crazy stuff towards the end. Honestly, Ape and Man could have gotten 302 because the last time we saw these two play, like we knew Ven had Ape and Man's number, but today, 